Today we're going to show you how to change the roller on your refrigerator. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a 3 8 nut driver, a small punch, a ball peen hammer, and a rotary tool. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we basically need to gain access to the bottom of the refrigerator on the side that we have a defective roller on. So to do that, we'll want to make sure that we empty everything out of the refrigerator and out of the freezer. We'll need to disconnect the power. And once we've removed all of the items from the inside, we can pop the cover off of the hinge cap on the side that has the bad roller on it. We'll remove the 3 8 bolt that secures the roller to the frame of the refrigerator. And then we're going to tilt it in the opposite direction. You'll need some help to hold that steady while you pull the roller out from the bottom. And then we can do the repair by removing the roller from the bracket and removing the roller pin and replacing it at the same time. So we'll start by removing that end cap. Just pry it away, it's just a friction fit. You may need a flat blade screwdriver to inch it along there. And that will give us access to the head of that 3 8 bolt, which is also used for leveling. But we need to completely remove that bolt. We'll pull that out through the front. And we can close the freezer back up and we'll get some help and tilt that refrigerator back so that we can remove the roller from the bottom. Now with the refrigerator tilted up and secured, we'll just tilt that wheel down and then slide it straight back out of the bracket. And then we can take that to a suitable surface where we'll need to cut the rivet out of it so we can replace that wheel and install a new rivet at the same time. So we'll start by removing that rivet so we can get the roller out of that bracket. And with a small rotary tool or an angle grinder, we'll just grind the head off of that rivet. Now once we've ground the rim of that rivet off of there, we can now punch it through. And it will be extremely hot, so make sure you don't touch it with your fingers. Now we'll just slide the new roller into position and insert the new roller pin. Make sure it protrudes all the way through the opposite side. And it's hollowed out on this end and that's where we'll peen that over. So with the head of that rivet against a solid surface, we'll take our punch and center it in the opening of the opposite end. Tap it enough to spread it. And once we've got that peened over nice and secure, make sure we don't do it too tight that the wheel won't turn. We're ready to reinstall the assembly back on the refrigerator. Now that we have the new wheel installed on the bracket and a new roller pin or rivet peened over properly and holding it in place. We're ready to reinstall it into the wheel well, but we'll also need to install the 3 8 leveling bolt as well to make sure that it does engage with the square nut at the back of that bracket. So we'll slide it carefully in between the sides of the mounting bracket, tilt it into the slots, and roll it up into place. And before we 
set it down, we'll install the bolt. We'll engage that with that square nut at the back. Make sure it's threading smoothly. And we can see that as we tighten that bolt, the wheel will push down, which would in turn raise this corner of the refrigerator. So now we're ready to stand it back up. Now, once we've got the refrigerator properly leveled again, we can reinstall that end cap. And then we can reload the refrigerator, reconnect it to the power, and our repair is complete.